Hey guys, it's Zeus's Bolt here, and today is another episode of the Sky Factory 3 series, and today is episode 21, and I have a lot in store for this episode, although I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to complete that today. We'll hopefully be able to do it all in the next episode on Thursday. So, guys, we have a lot to do. So, um... I, I, uh, I think a few episodes back, maybe about like two or so, I actually planned on and said that I wanted to head to the nether. And I think that today might be the day. It all really depends on how, or like, if this obsidian will be able to be finished in this episode. It really depends. Uh, I think it's possible. I think I only need about four Four more, is that correct? Twelve obsidian? I think kind of makes sense, yeah. So, I mean, we're almost there, but it might be at the very end of this video that we're going to be able to get this done. And maybe you can enter the nether for a little bit, but the main reason I wanted to head to the nether is because I wanted to get and see, well, maybe mainly see if there are other ores in the nether. And I wanted to do this because it will significantly boost my resources on this island so the only resources that I really have right now is wood and cobblestone and that's about it uh, also dirt and some snad so <laughs> can't forget about those but uh, you know I just want to I definitely want to see about getting other ores and these ores could definitely help me increase or it's this is the third time it's rained on this island what the crap okay whatever we'll just go to bed because <laughs> I don't want it raining really um so like I was saying ah, no, I kind of forgot because I the, now the rain messed me up but basically all I want to do is I just want to get more ores for this island and I can create more machineries from that and hopefully that's the case if there's going to be enough or if there are ores in the nether so one of the things I kind of ran to into a uh, little like problem I was like how the heck am I gonna get to the nether if I don't have any iron so what I did is I actually somebody said it before or earlier I completely forgot your name but it was a few episodes or like 10 episodes back I sifted sand in the sieve so Eventually, I was able to get enough iron ore pieces in order to create one. Here, I'll do it real quick. One iron ore chunk. This iron ore, ugh, this iron ore chunk allows me to create one iron ingot. Would you look at that? So, after waiting so long of getting or waiting for a bucket to appear in one of those loot bags, I was able to finally get this an iron ingot would you look at that <laughs> so that means I can create the flint and steel which is definitely required for uh, creating the portal to go into the nether so now that I have that out of the way I can now uh, relax about that because I was like holy crap am I gonna have to wait all this time in order to just like like just waiting for one piece of iron ingot in order to go into the nether so I had to find an alternative way in order to do that and would you look at that I figured out how to get iron ingots and that's pretty pathetic on my part because I didn't really think about it or like really do it or just like research and see if I can do that it, you know I don't know it was just big fault on my part that I wasn't able to do that or I wasn't even searching for that so at least I figured it out now but look at this look at this farm guys the wheat is fully grown these potatoes over here are not fully grown although the majority are the carrots there's only one piece that isn't grown fully and the and the watermelon they're growing just how they usually grow at so so in the last episode guys I ran into a problem as well I was completely oblivious to uh, as to what or like if I could grow that sugarcane and I completely forgot there was no water near the snad and a lot of you pointed that out and well I put I and some of you pointed that out in the last episode so I mean I was glad I was able to uh, see that as well so big fault on my part but this should hopefully yeah look at that we got sugarcanes now just like that and hopefully like they said snad grows faster 
or no, sugarcane grows faster than snad. So that should be going through a lot quicker than um, sand or dirt. Whatever, I don't know why we picked snad over sand. Like, what's the point of that? But we got our sugarcane growing, so that's good. So one of those crops, I mean, that whole thing will be filled up eventually. I have to get that other side up uh, with water. Um, and then we have some more crops on the right side. The left side, that's going to be a little bit in the pain in the butt, but it should be fine. And then on the other side of that farm, we're going to create another platform for inferior seeds inferium just like an inferium farm so it might be about like the same size because there are different types of seeds there's like inferium here we'll just look at them because why the heck not so inferium here we go inferior inferium seeds like there's a tier one then we got prudent inferior seeds tier two intermediate inferior seeds so we have to make about like five different like platform thingies like these, like this, just like these. I think, I don't know, I don't know how much I'll actually do because I don't really know the point of them at the moment, but actually I think you can create like blocks from them. So <laughs> maybe you can figure that out, but basically I just have to like upgrade them and then kind of like reproduce them and it should be, I think pretty easy. I'm not entirely sure, I've never really done it. So we'll figure that out. But here is also, yes, I'm completely ignoring this platform here. This is a platform for the obsidian portal or the nether portal I keep forgetting the real name for that so oh my god I have to place this correctly so I'm pretty sure I, I have not created a nether portal in a long time but I'm pretty sure this is how you create one so <laughs> let's hope it's correct um so I mean like I was saying I think I just need about like is it three more? that can't be correct that is definitely not correct. Because how many is it supposed to be? Like, isn't it supposed to be... I feel like I screwed something up here. I... I'm pretty sure I did. But, I mean, it should be fine. Like... Oh my god, what did I do wrong? I honestly don't know. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. We need one, one, two... Did definitely screw something up here, okay. Crap! Well, I mean, it's not like the end of the world, but we're going to hell, so I don't know. Kinda, it's kind of close to that, but we'll make about. What is going on? We'll make about like four or so. I honestly don't even know. I feel like I did screw something up with another portal. Oh, God, I don't know. But we'll. we'll, we'll fi we're fine. We're fine. All right, we're gonna do this, and uh, I guess remain calm, even though it takes so freaking long for the cobblestone to transfer, transform into lava. It's unbelievable. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But anyways, so look at this farm, guys. We have three horses, two cows, one chicken, two chickens, one sheep, one sheep, right? I don't know, and then we have a couple of chickens, one pig, two pigs, jeez, I, I, mean, I can't even count. They're all hiding everywhere, so I can't, I can't, you know, really count that bad, that, that good. Um, so, we had to capture a cow in a jar, so I don't want to get rid of this jar, or this cow completely. So before we do this, I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to breed them, okay? I'm going to breed these cows together, so that we don't lose... Um, so, like, I just want to continue to have uh, more cows that... I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I want to have, a, like, a, a sufficient amount of cows on that platform in order for them to continue breeding. So, I just want to have at least two cows. And, I mean, like I was saying, I plan to have, like, branches of platforms that head off in either directions so that, like... They could go to different pens and stuff, and then I can have like more animals on this place here. Like the the, the um the pens over here on these sides will be like breeding pens, essentially like that. So that's what I kind of plan on doing. So take that and take that. Now breed and jeez, I'm like surrounded by these animals here. There's so many animals. That's the thing. Like this platform is so small, and there are a lot of animals already spawning on this. So I kind of have to like. 
figure some stuff out like what I should do in order to uh, I don't know get more I suppose all right so we have to get this cow in a jar I don't really so it slowly produces milk for recipes I don't know that we have this milk jar well wait a minute there's a cow in a jar this is what we need to do so we need to make a milk jar which requires the glass wood and milk what oh but I don't really get that I don't really get it so capture a cow in a jar that's what I don't get <laughs> um this is a cow in a jar but are we really capturing a cow in a jar no we are not it doesn't seem exactly like that we're just making a jar that produces milk or like what is going on milk jar um you know I have no clue provides milk to recipes so I don't know if it's gonna be something like this cobblestone generator over here where it automatically produces cobblestone for me that's what I kinda think like what it's supposed to do but I don't really know if I'm supposed to capture this cow in the jar but we'll just do it um so that requires mm, a bucket a bucket so I mean we can just take this one here that I have it's not gonna be the end of the world now that I figured out how to make iron so let's milk him and or her I don't know they're both they both have that other thing <laughs> so I'm assuming they're both female I don't know I said him or did I say her yeah let's I don't, I don't know let's just forget that okay so we need to make glass which requires sand so let's place I need seven let's do this stuff let's make some gravel from this wooden hammer and then let's see here let's get rid of this stuff we have our seven sand so let's go to bed real quick because there are some monsters spawning on this farming platform that I have over there I don't know why there are like tons of torches over there but I guess I have to play some more apparently so that's kind of annoying oh please please stop lagging please I don't know why it does no okay Jesus it said Minecraft was not responding so I was in a little bit of a panic there but I guess we're good okay so I better put this gold ore piece back in there oh we have cactus seeds so we can make cactus oh yeah now that's what I'm talking about but the best thing like the thing about um oh geez we can't really like see that's the thing hopefully I get my bucket back like I definitely want that back let's get that going and uh, so the thing what was I saying um, cactus farms you know the best thing you need to always make an automated cactus farm those are always the best so I think I actually could make one it just wouldn't really be like it wouldn't produce many cacti blocks I mean it's not entirely necessary for me to do it but you always like just for me I always need to create one so I mean we could create like one over here because I was saying that I could create or I was planning on creating I mean I guess I could create it over here like a three block platform oh god I could actually do it oh man that would actually be pretty freaking sweet yeah I think it's possible I, it definitely is possible so I have to look up on how to make a, an automated cactus farm <sighs> yeah that's gonna be awesome even though it's like pointless to have all those cacti in your like chest it's I mean it's just really cool to have one you know you know you know um so let's see here how far we at ah, here we go that's done and out of the way that's going and let's see here so no it was one right there oak wood plank thingy class like this milk jar yes we get our bucket back thank you Provides milk to recipes, but what? Don't please don't break. Ooh, jeez. I knew that was gonna happen. But so, do I really actually put a cow in a jar? Because this is a milk jar. I guess I do it. I guess I'm gonna do it. Come here, Mr. Cow. So, I guess he automatically produces milk for me, so that's pretty cool. I don't know how, like, it'll be produced. I don't actually know how to do this, though. 
Alright guys, so I'm back and uh, so I think the only way in order to, for me to create a cow in a jar is to have a cow standing on top of the jar and then like dropping an anvil on top of it and it somehow goes into the jar? I don't really know. Uh, that just seems to be the only way to do it so I guess we're gonna have to delay this for a little bit which I assume is fine but in order to create an anvil I need a lot of iron I need a crap ton oh my god that's not good <laughs> um so I guess we're uh oh I never knew about this <laughs> Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. But, um, so, we need an anvil, essentially. That's, that's going to suck. Because I don't really know how that's going to work out, but I guess, okay. We'll figure it out, uh, somehow, in order to just, you know, I don't know. Have a cow in a jar. To have a cow in a jar, that's just going to be our thing. So, I guess, I mean, the only thing that I can really do is I can... Just like sift tons of sand and get hopefully of a hope for a lot of uh, iron ore pieces. It just really depends, and uh, you know I'm just not entirely sure. I guess that's we just have to wait, and or I mean no 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 we can go to the Nether see if there's iron. If there's iron we get a lot of iron, and then we can create our anvil. My god, that is taking forever. And then we can create our anvil, then we can get that process going somehow, get the cow on top of the jar, then break the anvil, or not the anvil, the block that's holding it up, and uh, then we can put the cow in the jar. So that's our only way of doing this. So I definitely did screw this up. I definitely did screw this up. I created this way too big. Oh well. It should be fine, because... In reality, I think they did have that update where you can create like huge portals uh, into the nether. But I think eventually I'm going to fill that up to its maximum. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to wait it out, see how long this is going to take, or like how, like if I can get these last three two blocks in, and then I'm going to use the the thing on it, the, the la, 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 what is it called? Flint and steel on it, and then we're gonna take a brief entrance to the nether. Alright, so we are less than 40, 40, well now we're down to 30, cobblestone uh, remaining in this crucible, down to 20. This is the last bit of obsidian, well I actually have to make two more. I was gonna finish the top two corners on that side, but we're gonna not do that now. So. Instead, we're just going to place the last bit of obsidian onto this. Whoa. Okay, take that. And, oh, I might as well. Uh, so I don't forget. I might as well just grab some. If I, if there is lava nearby, I'm just assuming. I might as well take... No, we're putting this... Putting in there. We're going to grab some obsidian in there, just in case. If there's... Or, not obsidian. What am I saying? Lava. Just any lava that I could possibly potentially find, I'm gonna grab it. Just so I can, you know, finish up those two blocks. It'll be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh my god, we get the nether portal! Holy crap! Okay, so nice! Now, it is time to head into the nether. I think I'm kinda prepared. My armor isn't the greatest, but it'll do. It'll do for the time being. I have enough arrows. We should be good. And hopefully, like, no monsters come out of this thing. Also, I did definitely screw this up because I don't recall being, like, a 3x3 three three, uh, portal. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, God. I really am quite nervous at the moment. I knew I was going to spawn up here. Where am I? There's nothing in the nether. What is going on? Can I, like... Here, hold on. We're going to go back. Um, is there like a way to break it or something? Because I don't know what's going on with this nether portal, 
But there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing in that nether. So I'm just kind of concerned that there's like... Uh-oh. Like if I have to... Okay. If like if I... If this portal is so loud. I don't know. I'm just going to head back. I don't know like what's wrong with it. If I have to destroy it or something and like rebuild it. But there's absolutely nothing in there. Like nothing... I, I don't even think anything loaded in there. Like there are no monsters. No blocks or anything. So... I'm a little concerned about that, but I guess we'll see. If you guys have any input on that, let me know, and uh, we'll figure that out, hopefully. Um, hopefully. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys. Well, actually, let's... Can I place a block in the portal? I'm going to check this. I'm going to check this out. Let's see if this works. I see, like, I can't even... I don't know. The only way to break it... I have no clue how to break it. Anyways, I'll just wrap this up, guys. If you guys have any any info on how the nether works in this, uh, let me know. Greatly appreciated information. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that made sense, but okay. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, leave a like. I'll see you guys all in the next one. So, yes. Goodbye.